Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to download and install tracks and mods for NASCAR Racing 2003 season. Okay, um, I'll leave a link in the description to a site that I like to use for mods and tracks. It lists just about everything. So first, let's do tracks. Super Speedway track. Um, we'll download this one. I've already downloaded it, but you'll just click on it like this, and it'll say, if it's in a RAR file, you're going to need a program called WinZip or 7-Zip or WinRAR, either one of those. Preferably, I would go with 7-Zip. That's free and it's easy. So, and then save that to your desktop. Okay, I've already downloaded it. So when it's done downloading, you'll go to where you saved it. I, I saved it in my downloads folder, but you can save it to the desktop. And now you're going to need to open up 7-Zip or WinRAR or whatever program it is that you have for RAR files. Here we go. 7-Zip Portable. Okay, um, so it's... Talladega 2009 revamped. So you click on the, the folder, extract it to this location. Uh, my computer, local disk C, or the C drive, same thing. Papyrus, NASCAR Racing 2003 season, and tracks. Click OK, and it will install it. OK. Now, I'm going to minimize this because um, I'm going to download a mod now. And that will also be in a RAR file, the one that I'm going to download, which is Cup 10S. So save that to the same spot. It, well, it doesn't really matter where you save, just so you know where it is. And then, when that's done, open up 7-Zip, if it's a RAR file, and you're going to extract it to this location almost the same my computer local disk C papyrus NASCAR racing 2003 season and then series just the series folder and click OK uh, most mods come with a car set um, but if you want to download a car file, I'll show you where to put them. You'll have to extract them from a RAR archive or a zip archive, usually. And you'll put them in Local Disk C, Papyrus, NASCAR Racing 2003 Season, Series, and then the name of your mod, and then the Cars folder. And make sure you have the right car file and the right mod otherwise it'll be all glitched up so uh, that's what you have to do for that and one other thing you can only have 16 mods in your series folder at a time otherwise um, they'll, they'll still be in the there but you can't choose all of them at the main menu so um, I just made an extra folder for the extra mods that don't fit or that um, go over the 16 so I just put them in there and then I can move them into the series folder if I want to use them okay um, now we can start the game This will just take a minute. Okay. So, as you can see here, there's um, a little arrow where you can choose your mods. I, as you can see, I have a bunch. Here's the Cup 10 S mod, version 1.0. Um, 
you can see it in there we'll drive and these are fake cars these aren't the real ones as you can see so you'll have to install those car files manually into the cars folder of the mod if you want new ones but for right now I will just drive a car and test it out um, we'll drive this baby okay and then you can pick your track the one I downloaded was Talladega Revamped 2009 okay we'll hit race and drive and you can see it working well I've got the I don't have my controller plugged in so it's kinda freaking out cool but basically that is how you do it okay this is driving me crazy one other thing I should mention is um, there's a site called revampedreloaded.com and that site has a lot of new tracks but currently the site is down as of August 10th 2011 I'm not sure if it'll come back or not I hope it will because they have really awesome tracks but um, if you download tracks from this site you're going to have to install an update called a shared folder um, depending on the year uh, I would go with the newest one that they have um, but it's a little install that will fix the um, the shared folder in order for newer tracks to work and I'm not sure why you have to do that but otherwise it doesn't work because I I've tried I downloaded this one uh, from revamped and reloaded a while ago and um, I didn't install the shared folder and it didn't work and then after I installed the shared folder it did work so um, hopefully they'll come back and we can do that but otherwise I think that's pretty much all you need to know so have fun with those and make some videos